Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN, the golden child, Tom Brady, 27 years old and two Super Bowl rings already. Not too shabby. We'll see him on the road to what he hopes will be ring number three in this one. Tampa Bay, New Orleans, now. The fans are finding their way to their seats, uh, those who really own those seats, as we get set to begin this exciting game. Hello, folks. I'm Dan Stevens welcoming you to the Louisiana Superdome. At my side, my cohort, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, our game features one of the best wideouts in the game. Unquestionably, Dan. He's going to be a pivotal part of their game plan. You better watch out. He's likely to make some big plays. Okay, we'll keep our eye on him as the game progresses. But first, the coin toss. Tails it is. Number three, kicking off for the Saints. There's the signal, and it's we're time ready. For Saints football. Number three kicks it, and we are underway. Number 16 decides to take it out of the end zone. Drag down at the 20. Number 16 got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Buccaneers will start this first play of the drive at their own 20-yard line. Number seven takes his first carry of the game and rambles for about five. Number 99 with the tackle. Here comes the counter. Second and five. Ball at the Buccaneers, 25-yard line. Brady unloads this to the right sideline, and the reception is made for a first and more. 15, 5, touchdown, and touchdown! Number 14, shooters his man on the finer points of coverage on this play. A nice catch, but also a nice move to shake the coverage. He owned that matchup. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown pass, but he made it one with that terrific run after the catch. He fights for every inch he can get out there so you don't leave any daylight between him and the end zone. Number three, to attempt the extra point. Number 44, holding. Here's the extra point, and somehow he misses it. What in the world? <laughs> you don't see this much, and if you did, there would be a lot of kickers looking for work. Watch this. Whiff! No good. That is embarrassing. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number three kicks this one away. Number 12 catches it back at the three. Tackled at the 20. Number 12 tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Saints will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. He's got such a vice-like grip, Peter. It's got to be hard to break out of his grasp. 
even when you're one of the uh, slipperier runners. Absolutely. Second down, one man back. Ball at the Saints, 21 yard line. Dan bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Number 95 sacks him way sack. back at the 14. Number 95 gets the sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's going to push him back way back. Great defensive play. They read that play the whole way, and they force a third and very, very long. Yeah, monstrous D, the past few downs for these guys. Ryan makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Ryan got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. It was third and very long, and it didn't look too hard for the defense to stop that play right in its track. You know, Dan, that's what pressure on first and second down will get you. You push them into a hole, and then it's hard to climb out. Fourth down ahead. Number four gets the ball and punts it away. Round to a halt at the 46. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. The Buccaneers had an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at the 46-yard line. Number six makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. You better run for your Second and right 10. Single back. Ball at the 46 yard line. <laughs> Brady puts his arm into this one and First it's complete at the 25. And he stopped right there. First down. Number 14 had three guys covering him on this play, and he still made the catch. I don't know if it was a good effort by him or a bad one by the defense. It could have been both. Oh, it's hard to believe that play worked. Peter, it's early first in the game. Ten. It's the first time they Ball go deep, and he makes the big completion. What does that do for a team's confidence? Well, Dan, obviously it's a huge boost, but there's still a lot of game left. Check out the yards after the catch. The That's where a receiver can earn his paycheck. Number seven picks up six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second, second down, two four. wide outs on the field. Ball at the 20 yard line. <laughs> Number seven gets the call again and barely picks up the first down. Number seven got yards First by staying Buccaneers. so close to his blockers. I think they were sharing each First other's aftershave. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Evan tags the missile, and that's a touchdown. Evan does a great job here battling three defenders. It's definitely worth a second look. Let's watch. And he still comes up with the ball. Wow. You can't coach that. That's his first touchdown of the day. Three, and I think he's a guy point. you can count on to make those Number end zone catches. Four, he sets a high standard for himself, and he usually makes it. Now the point after, the and extra point is good. it's good.
The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number three rockets this one deep. Number 12 decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 20. Number 12 got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Saints stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Number 46 gets the handoff and maybe picks up one on the play. Number 52 had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Calder has a report. Susie? Thank you, Dan. The team doctor's diagnosis is that he has a pinched nerve in his shoulder. They're finishing a quick massage of the area, and it looks like he should be ready to come back in soon. Back to you, Dan. Thanks, Susie. Barrett blasts him back at the 17. Barrett came in like a pack of wolves, cornering him in the backfield and then taking him down for a big loss. Third down, 13 yards to go. Rips him down in the backfield, and that takes them even farther away from the markers. It'll be fourth down. Number 23 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and yeah. made the tackle. And I'll tell you what, this looks like it wasn't that difficult to tackle, but he had his hands full. Yeah, looks can be deceiving, Dan. He really had to square himself perfectly to make that play. Number four takes the snap and puts it away. Right down at the 47. Miller got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Buccaneers start this one on the center logo at their 47-yard line. Number 14 goes in motion. Number seven will get the carry on first down and will lose about a yard here. Davis was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Peter, once he closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free, regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that straight. With those guns, he could probably reach other bowling balls or wide receivers, for that matter. Number 14, hauls it in right side and picks up four on the play. Tom Brady threw the pass into double coverage, but gets his man perfectly. Hey, that was one accurate throw. Well, not much of a gain there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Buccaneers enjoying a lead 13 to nothing. Third down. Let's do this, D. Brady rifles it out left side and it's caught despite a wicked hit to try and jar the ball loose. Number 14 has a small crowd of defenders working him and yet still makes the catch. There's the catch and there were three guys around him. They say bad things come in threes but that didn't seem like that was bad at all. Maybe mildly annoying but Definitely not bad. And another completion, and he's definitely shaping up to be a major factor in this game. It's only the second quarter still, but if he can keep it up, he could have a typically impressive day. Why? will get stopped at the line, and that brings up second down. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Takes him down back at the 37. 
Number 50 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Number 17 catches it in the flat and he's well short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Number 17 ran out of bounds there, well short of where he wanted to go. They get some yards out of that play, but they are short. Yeah, didn't get quite the punch they wanted to. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down, and the field goal leader is on the field. Number three boots it from 48 yards out, and he misses this one way off to the left. Number three is visibly unhappy with himself after missing this long field goal. Watch this. Well, he'll want to redeem himself after that. Question is, will his coach trust him with another long one next time? The Saints can climb back into it with a score before half here. They will start this drive at their 39-yard line. Number 41 catches it in the flat and tries to get free. Tackled at the 45. Number 41 fought for a few extra yards after making the catch. You know, I like to see that in a player, that drive to get every last ounce out of the play. That'll be his first catch of the game after being shut out the entire first quarter. This is a bit of a slow start for him. Yeah, it is, Dan, but he will see the ball more and more as the game goes on. Nelson crushes him behind the line at the 43. We almost got him, baby. Third and five. Ball at the Saints, 43-yard line. Number eight makes the catch out to the left, and they get the first on third and long. First down, three wideouts in the game. Number 46 gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. Okay, fell. we went over this all week in practice. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, okay. we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, fellas? Yeah. Second and six. Ball at the 41. Second down, Second just a single six. receiver on the field. Ball at the 41. Down! Check, Gray, 17! Check, Gray, 17! Thomas makes the catch on the right sideline and is at the five. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, sink! Thomas is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown pass, but he made it one with that terrific run after the catch. He fights for every inch he can get up there, so you don't leave any daylight between him and the end zone. the point after and the extra it's point good. is good. There's the signal and we're ready. Number three kicks it off. 
Miller fields the kickoff at the four. Brought down at the 28. Miller received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. All right, yeah. Hey, I like those stats. Great receiving yards. Brady just rifled this one, and it's First caught at the 33. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. It will be first down. Tom Brady is showing off some precision passing out there, Dan. Clearly, he's exploiting the short game so far, and he's got 148 yards and two touchdowns. First down, First two ten. receivers to the left. Ball off the Buccaneers, 42-yard line. Number 14 goes in motion. It's the sack, and the clock will continue to run. Number 99 goes in unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O-line should be embarrassed. Watch this. Oh, yeah, sacks don't get much easier than that. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Brady on this to the right sideline, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Number 29, closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. That play had potential, but the defense had other ideas. They forced the incompletion and also force a third and long. That's the perfect setup for the defense, Dan. Strong plays on first and second give you this kind of situation. Third down and four wideouts in the game. <laughs> No dice, and it falls incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Evans had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number five lines up for the punt. Number five gets the snap and punts it away. Number 12 gets it at the 19. Drag down at the 28. Number 12 did a nice job getting some yards okay. after fielding the Go. solid punt. The Saints could take the lead before halftime as their offense will start at their own 28-yard line. <laughs> Number eight falls in the pass and gets back. The Saints take their first time off. there well short of where he wanted to go second down second and inches. less than a yard ball at the Saints 48 yard line rips him down the Saints will take a timeout that's their second Third and two. 
Ball at the Saints, 46 yard line. Number two tips it to the left sideline and it is not reeled in. Thomas incomplete. Dean had superb Dean coverage on that play. Coverage. No wonder it was incomplete. That was a fantastic job by the defense to stop what would have been a first down. I love to see Big D on third and short situations. Fourth down. Defenses love to hear that from the refs. Number four gets ready to punt this away. Number four takes the long snap and punts it away. Miller heals the punt at the 12. Turn of seven yards Hammered down at the 19. Miller racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Buccaneers offense takes the field with the clock at 14. Brady fumbles it out left side and it's caught for a gain of 10 on the play. Evans had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The, the last the two passes quarter. his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. Second down, one yard to go. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Buccaneers are out in front, 13 to seven. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Buccaneers should be way ahead on the scoreboard. But somehow, they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 14 came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 75-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers get the first points of the game and go up by six. Buccaneers midway through the first, already inside field goal range. Tom Brady would find his target on this one. A 15-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. The Saints answering right back. Saints behind by 13. Thomas emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. And that's where we'll leave this one. Saints are down, but still in it, 13 to seven. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Number 14 has played like a man possessed. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Saints will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Currently, Number they're three, down 13 to seven. Let's get down to the field and the action. Smith decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks the tackle. Stop at the 22. We've got a quick update from ESPN's very own Susie Kalber. Susie. Thanks, Dan. Head coach John Gruden told me at halftime that he's fairly satisfied with their overall play in the first half. He said, we did give up a few big plays defensively, but that's gonna happen sometimes. We just have to learn from our mistakes and come out even stronger. Always nice to see a coach who's optimistic. Back to you, fellas. Thanks, Susie. Number two throws a bullet and he's on target for a gain of five. Number two had no trouble zinging that one past the secondary. 
That was one heck of a throw. They move the ball, and it will be second, second down. down. Ball at the sink, 27-yard line. Down. Number 41 gains five on the play, and that will bring up first down. First down, one man back. Number two rifles it out left side and it's tipped incomplete. Number 54 got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Sinks 32 yard line. Single back. Single back. Number 46 has his number called on second number down 46. and rambles for about five. Number 31 with the tackle. This is serious here. Third and four. We gotta stop him. Ball at the Saints, 37 yard line. <laughs> Number two throws this on a rope, and it's tipped yeah. incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Nelson came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. It seemed like the defense read that Number one from four. the beginning, from and the they team. forced the incompletion Miller with Rommel to be. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Number four lines up for the punt. Number four gets the snap and punts it away. Miller fields it at the 22. Tackled at the 30. Miller did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Buccaneers get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 30-yard line. Wright bulldozes right of center and gains about three yards. Second and seven. Ball at the Buccaneers, 33-yard line. Evans catches it in the flat and he's looking for room. Finally gets out of bounds at the 50. That will bring up first down. First down, First both tight ends left. Ball at the 50. Brady unloads this one to the left, and it's bobbled That's and dropped. Incomplete. incomplete. Number, Number 84 the went for the mid-range completion on that Davis one, but didn't get it. That's his first drop of the game, and while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much Second blame on him ten. for that one. That would have been a tough catch. Evans catches the heater left sideline and is at the touchdown, 10. Buccaneers. And he's in for the touchdown. Evans acts on a bundle after the run here. Watch the replay, folks. The catch and now the run. A multi tiered play. Yeah, like cake with three tiers of frosting. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. Does everything have to be turned into food for you? That's Number his second TV reception, and obviously, the passes are coming his way when they get in the red zone. Well, he's taken on the role of scorer today, Dan, good. and I gotta tell you, he's filling that role nicely. It's hey, good. Way to go out there. Good job. Nice play. Nice play.
The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number three kicks it off. Smith fields it all the way back for one. Tackled at the 22. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, punting is not going to win you a game. Although it looks like they are trying to do that, they need to put a drive together and get into the end zone. Number 10 was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Saints have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 22-yard line. Number 80 goes in motion. Number 2 fires this one over the middle and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Number two, he's checking off his receivers, finding the open man, and that's evident as you review the chart here. Note the short passes and how that's enabled him to rack up 90 yards and one touchdown. Number 41 the went over the defense to get the yardage. Dan, sometimes it can be pretty risky to hurdle Second tacklers like that. He can get upended pretty good. That time, however, it all worked out. And there's something you won't see too often. The smaller guy winning the battle. Well, extra effort, I guess. That's a tackle. Nine times out of ten. Number 41 gets the call again and picks up the first down. for a first down. Thomas has three guys on this play looking for the interception, but they don't get it. He says, I'll take that, thank you very much. Oh, that's a wonderful catch. The defense should be shaking their heads. A lot of short completions like that today, Peter, where they get stops right into soon after the catch. Yeah, if you can't make anything happen after the catch, those short throws are useless. 41 has his number called on first down and moves forward for seven. Number 11 had a great block there. You know, Dan, sometimes it's better to give than receive, especially when you're giving out some hurt like that. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and three. Ball at the 33. Thomas catches it over the middle, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Thomas is head to head on this one with the pass coverage and the ball is waiting for him downfield. That's a great catch. It's all about being in the right place at the right time, Dan. Perfect execution. That's another medium range catch for him. He's really found his niche in there. Yeah, unless he starts getting shut down, there's no reason for him to move out of it. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Buccaneers enjoying the lead 20 to seven. Second and six. Ball at the 15. 
Number 41. Heads out right. Tackled at the 10. Nelson brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not Come enough for the goal. first. That's his like second that. tackle ball so far. Third down. And this will be the eighth play of the drive. <laughs> Number 41. Carries it off right tackle and converts the third down. Number 41. Got a little help from his friends on that play, Dan. They gave him the space he needed to make the play. Great blocking up front. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Johnson goes in motion. this one away number 16 fields the kickoff at the three stopped at the 25 well Peter some interesting information up on the screen oh you bet well there's the drive results and the thing I want to talk about is how close this game is when the score is like it is one single mistake can change the whole game they need to be careful here Number 16 received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. First and 10, Tampa Bay. Number 14 goes in motion. <laughs> Brady rifles it out left side, and the ball is caught at the 27. Down, Eventually in. runs out of bounds at the 46. That will bring up first down. Evans went to town on that baby, gets yards, gets the first, and then eventually gets out of bounds. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. First and ten. Ball at the 46-yard line. Evans catches at left sideline and he's in here. for the score. Evans keeps the party going after making the catch right here. And now he's off for more. Coaches love receivers who believe his job is just starting when he makes the catch. Yet another big run after the catch and yet another touchdown. He has been performing today. Three, performing? To He's a one-man show. Number 44. Oh, look there. 150 plus <laughs> receiving yards. He's been making plays all game long. Good. It's good.
There's the signal, and we're ready. Number three kicks it off. Number 12 took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. Saints are down, but not out. They'll start this critical drive at their own 18-yard line. Number two pumps it out left, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Number 80 was the intended receiver. Number two knows how to spread the ball around, as you can see by this passing chart here. He's getting the ball into his receiver's hands and has piled up 117 yards and one touchdown. Second down and four wideouts in the game. The Saints, 18 yard line. Number 24 tips it away on the coverage incomplete. Number 24 swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Number two throws a bullet here and it's intercepted. <sighs> Number 31 does a nice job picking off the pass there. He's got it and he gets a little more with that nice little run back. Boy, that was a heads up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Buccaneers are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 22 yard line. Number seven gains five on the play, and that brings up second down. With the tackle. Second down Second from the eye. Ball at the 17. Vaughn gets the toss and gets past the line. Drag down at the 12. It will be first down. First down, Buccaneers. Vaughn lowered his shoulder on that play and created some extra yards. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. Coach Haslett is not happy with that call, and he's going to challenge it. Hey, we want a challenge. New Orleans is challenging the spot of the ball. This is their All first right. challenge of the game, and okay. even if they lose right. this one, they still have one challenge left. As we watch the replay here, look for where the ball is when he's tackled. Remember, all he needs is one knee to be down. After review, the call on the field is overturned. New Orleans will not be charged to timeout. Third down. He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. Third and inches. Ball at the 12 yard line. Number 
number seven. Gains five on the play, and they convert the third down. down number seven played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. First down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. Number seven takes it off the toss and passes the line. The Saints take their first time out. Second down, Second goal to go. Ball at the five. Seven. The Saints will take a timeout. That's their second. Third down. Let's finish this out. They go back. They go back. Rips and down. The Saints take a timeout. That's their final one. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number three with a 22-yarder, and this one is up and in. Number three knocked in an easy short one for three points. You can tell he didn't doubt for a second that he'd made that. For the first time today, three, they leave the red zone the with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. Number three kicks this one away. Number 12 got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Saints start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.42. Number two, throws a heater right sideline, and the catch is made, and the clock continues to wind down. Number 27 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 27 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Third down, two yards to go. First down, Saints. The lady catches the bullet out left, and the clock continues to wind down. Second down, one man back. Number two throws a beauty to the right side, and it's tipped Pass is incomplete. incomplete. Edwards, Edwards came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Third down. The clock is stopped at 55. No good, incomplete. incomplete. It'll be fourth down. With the deflection. Ah, come on. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can't get Fourth none. and four. You can't get none. Ball at the Saints, 43-yard line. Number two, Simpson to the left sideline, and they convert the big fourth down play. Number two, spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Second down with the tight end right. Ball at the 49. Leopard, Leopard. Number two flops this one out to the left, and the catch is made for the first. The clock continues to tick down. As you can see, he's up over the century mark. Oh, today. Number two, spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Second and ten. Ball at the 19. <laughs> Number two, lobs this one deep to the end zone, and it's Pass tipped, incomplete. incomplete. Neil, Neil came in and got a hand on that football, and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan, you know, why simply defend the pass when you can ball obliterate it? Third down, the clock is stopped at 18. <laughs> Number 41 catches it in the flat, and he will be well short of the markers. The clock continues to wind down. It'll be fourth down. It's the sack, and that will force a turnover on downs. Number 50 makes his presence known on this one. He's going to haunt the ball carrier's dreams for a while. A oh, big tackle on fourth. That's how you stop a conversion. Well, they don't convert on fourth down, and right that now, will be it right for now. them. Yeah, chalk this one up in the L column, Dan. It's down. all over. And that is going to That's do it for this one. The Buccaneers come out on top 30 to 14. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Buccaneers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Evans was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 50-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers now up by 13. The Saints trying to answer back. The Saints already inside field goal range. Number 41 got the carry here and he comes through. A four yard touchdown for the Saints. The Bucks trying to answer back. Bucks up by six. Evans came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. They're now up by 13. The Saints on defense. Number 31 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Saints down 27 to 14. After driving 17 yards on six plays, number three gets the call as they can't punch it into the end zone, but the short field goal is up and good. A 23 yard field goal. The Buccaneers move ahead by 16. Ball at the midfield strike. Number two is back to throw, and look at the finesse he puts on this one. Nice. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bucks come away with a win, 30 to 14.
Now let's check in with our player of the game, a guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Evans is on hand with Susie Culber. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You played great today, and your team bulldozed to a runaway victory. What do you think was vital to your team's success today? I was feeling pretty good today, and things was just rolling for me. From the moment I stepped on the field, I felt like I could help us win this game, and that's what I had to do. Chris, back to you. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time.